at running back nine, we have Aaron Jones. He was tied for seventh in targets amongst all running backs last season with 65. And the going, pack going up, baby. Had the fifth most targets vacated in the NFL this yeah. offseason after the departures of both Devontae Adams and Marquez Valdez Scantling, as Alex says. Among 200, almost 250 targets. I want to say it's so bad. Or 44% of the team's total targets last season are now up for grabs. Uh, and no, they are not all going to Christian Watson and Ellen Lazard. Although Lizard King for life. Uh, I do like the <laughs> both of them more than most analysts, however, but we're not here to talk receivers right now. I believe that Aaron Jones could end up leading all running backs in targets this season, making yeah. him a value at his current ADP. AJ Dillon will be annoying at times. He will be on the field at the same time as Aaron Jones, but the volume is going to guarantee him an RB one finish this season. Yeah, I agree. He's um, going at the end of the second right. round and a huge value is what he is. Yeah, right. Go and, go and pick 20. Uh, again, we have him at 9. ESPN has him at 13. Fancy Pros has him at 10. We love the receiving aspect of his game. He's still one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. He loves playing against the Bears and the Lions, which he lights up annually, like hugely lights up. And he's playing with a Hall of Fame quarterback that doesn't have a ton of weapons, and he trusts Aaron Jones. There's yeah. not that much else to say about Aaron Jones. I think you're actually taking him at, at his floor here. I, I think he's I think he's primed to have a huge season. So yeah, I, Aaron Rodgers got to throw to someone and get the ball to someone, and they have limited playmakers besides Dylan and Aaron Jones. 